Hi guys, Matt Collins here from Beausoleil. Today I'm going to show you how to tie the multi-rig, why it's so effective, how it works, how to change the hooks and how do you create different variations for different fishing situations. I've been using the multi-rig for a couple of years, it's got all sorts of advantages, it's really easy to tie and you can use it for a multitude of fishing situations. So let's go through the steps of how to tie this rig. So to start with, let's take some hook link. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use some uh, Nash 35 pound uh, skin link. Loads of various different combi link materials out there, but uh, I just like to use this one. So we're going to take some uh, our hook link here, uh, 12 centimeters. And we're just going to fold that in two like that. And what we're going to do is a simple overhand knot. and we're just making a loop and we want that loop to be about 40 uh, 40 mil long four centimeters long next we need to measure off how much material we need so normally stick to around 25 centimeters something like that so with the end with the end i've just cut we're going to take 12 centimeters of that again and we're going to form that into a loop and this loop is going to be exactly the same size as the other loop we did. So we offer that up and next we need to just tighten those loops down a bit. So a couple of rig pullers here. So we're just going to wet each knot and give them a little pull. Now we're going to just trim up those tag ends. So for this session I've been using the uh, size 4 Nash Claw uh, in combination with the 35 pound skin link. Um, the size 6 might go better with the 25 pound but uh, we're fishing for big fish here today so uh, yeah, it's the right, right tool for the job. Next up we're going to need some floss and the reason for the floss is we need to make a small threading tool. It's really simple. So we take the floss and we pass the floss from the back of the hook out through the front of the eye like that. Then we take the hook link that we've made with the two loops, pass the floss through that loop and then take the other end of the floss and pass it back through the eye of the hook in the direction that it came from, like that. You need to pull enough material through so that you can tightly grip both ends of the floss and then you just pull and that floss has easily threaded that heavy material through the eye of the hook. Next we're going to take a micro ring swivel so all we do is pass the loop through the ring section of the micro swivel and we continue the loop over and pass the loop over the point of the hook. Pull it back through a bit so it starts to look like that. So you can set this wherever you want really but I like to have them fairly tight so we've got a little uh, kind of slip D effect there and that ring swivel is basically exiting opposite the barb. The next step in how to tie this rig is to mount a bait. So for this particular rig, I'm going to couple the size 4 Nash claw and the 35 pound skin link with a 24 mil bottom bait. If you're using the 25 pound skin link in combination with a size 6, you probably drop that to a, a 20 mil bait, something like that. So all we're going to do is take our 24 mil bait, then we're going to take 25 centimeters of floss. And what we're going to do is fold that floss in two. and pull that loop of bait floss through. And we're going to take that loop and we're going to put it back over the bait. And we're going to take one of our tag ends, we're going to take that tag end and put it back through the loop like that so that we've basically got two tag ends 
either side of the loop that's gone around the back of the bait. Then all we're going to do, we're going to take the tag ends and we're going to gently pull so that that loop tightens around the bait like that. Don't pull too hard. If you pull too hard, these two bits of floss will start cutting open and slicing open the middle of the bait. To finish mounting the bait, we're just going to take one of those tag ends and pass it through the small end of the ring swivel and then bring the two tag ends together like that. To finish, we're just going to take those two tag ends and we're going to do we're going to do an overhand knot with the tag ends like that. We just pull it up, not too tight. We're going to take the tag ends we're going to pull the tag ends apart from one another and that overhand knot slides down neatly securing the swivel. To be extra secure that that bait doesn't go anywhere we're going to repeat that last step with a second overhand knot. Split the tag ends and pull down. To neaten this up we're just going to cut the floss ends and then just blob to finish. So that's the rig done. All we need to do now is mount the swivel on the other end. So I'm going to use a very simple loop to loop connection. Just pass the swivel through the loop and then you'll see why I've made the loop as big as I have because we need to pass the 24mm bait, the hook, everything through that loop get that knot through there and pull that down like that. So this is how I tie a multi-rig and it has a multitude of benefits because we've used a very heavy uh, combi link material, the whole rig is pretty anti-tangle. Uh, very, very effective for uh, casting, uh, casting at long range. The last thing you want is a rig tangling. Yeah, using a supple braided rig for fishing at long range is just a, a, just a complete no unless you stick it all in a PVA bag or something. But uh, if you just want to cast that out, hit it as hard as you can and be confident that it's fishing effectively for you then using this uh, combi link material straight through like this is an excellent solution. One of the most important reasons why you ought to try the multi-rig is the fact that you can change the hook. You can change the hook without having to tie a new, a new rig every time. This is really useful. So to change the hook all we do is we take our loop and now you'll see why the loop is made the, the four centimetre length that I've made it. Slide the loop down until the knot hits the eye. Then, take the loop off, slide the bait off, and then simply pop the hook link out of the hook. To re-thread, we just use the same trick again we did with the bait floss. Pass the bait floss through. Take our loop of hook link. Pass the floss back through the eye. And very carefully draw the loop through the eye. Take your ready mounted bait, slide it through the big eye of the swivel, pop it over the point of the hook and draw it through until you're happy with the position. So let's look at how the multi-rig actually works in, uh, in action. So uh, the carp's going to suck that in and what's going to happen is he's going to blow that bait out. Now it's great the, the bait is actually pulling from the, the, the hook, hook end there 
and then the hook's going to go into the bottom lip of the cup and then when you pull and he pulls that loop tightens up to that position there and if I just show you what happens that hook has cranked over really aggressively so the harder the fish pulls the harder you pull the better that fish is hooked this is a really neat trick of the multi-rig so let's have a look at the uh, bait mounting here so I've used a technique which is kind of it's a combination of um, uh, tying a bait on and threading it on it is really really secure more effective than a, than a bait stop and more effective than just tying it on as well so uh, yeah it would take an awful lot of uh, attention from nuisance fish to um, uh, to get that bait off by mounting it on a little ring swivel it spins freely so the bait is free to move it doesn't affect the rotation of the hook at all so the hook is free to do what it's meant to do turn over and catch as a cup if you want to take this uh, rig even further we can get a bit technical we can put some putty some tungsten putty on and uh, it just neatens up this this loop knot adds a bit of the weight so a decent decent sized blob like that and when we put it in the hand it just helps it turn over even quicker so in that form that's a that's a pretty much go anywhere rig really it's good for um uh, good for long range because it's very entangled uh good for good for most any conditions really uh we can make uh, we can make various tweaks to that um we could have um uh, double baits on there we could have a little uh, wafter on there to make it critically balanced um, yeah you can turn the whole thing into a um, uh, into a pop-up rig but I'd, I'd use a d-ring instead of mounting it on that swivel so this is another variation of the rig um, here I'm using a handmade uh, wafter uh, again just mounted on the micro ring swivel and what I've done here to add a even more movement into this rig is I've just stripped back about five mil section just before the uh, before the putty there and you create it creates this uh, this hinge effect there so having the having the hinge there just helps it uh, gives it extra movement and uh, can trick those uh, can trick those wily fish now this is this has got nothing to do with multi rigs but um, one thing I've found myself doing uh, more and more of late is doing away with quick link swivels and just doing a simple loop to loop connection to a to a swivel just a simple overhand knot to uh, create you know just make a big enough loop so that we can uh, do the swivel connection there really simple really quick and if I want to change it all I've got to do is push that apart and uh, dismantle the rig so there we go that's how to tie the multi-rig really simple all you have to do to master this rig is learn how to tie an overhand knot and that's the simplest one in the book it's just multiple overhand knots a bit of thread in a bit of looping through and that's it job done incredibly effective and the ability to change the hook every single time every single cast if it comes to that if you're fishing over rough terrain then uh, really really useful and this has caught me some stunning fish again this week so that's how i tie the multi rig you know it's very popular with pop-up rigs and stuff personally i just love the bottom bait variation because it's just so deadly effective at uh, you know you don't have to make it complicated keep it simple use good strong materials keep on changing those hooks and you're going to catch loads of carp.